In this video, I am going to introduce you to Jan, which is an open source alternative to LM Studio. If you have been following my channel, you might have noticed that I normally use LM Studio in order to install these large language models locally. With LM Studio, you can install them locally, not only, but also you can install them totally offline, which provides you security and a lot of other features. Gen AI is a drop-in replacement for LM Studio, and it you can also consider it sort of your offline ChatGPT alternative. You can have desktop client on your laptop. You don't need GPU for it. You can simply run it on CPU, but you would need some good RAM, of course. But if you have GPU, it will be faster. You can download their desktop client for Windows and it runs on your own computer with a local API server. And I will show you shortly how you can install it. They also have this GitHub page where the, all the source code and everything is available and you can simply play around it. And if you want to contribute, you can do so too. So this Jan is compatible with open source models, uh, GGUF via Llama.cpp, TensorRT via TensorRT-LLM and also with remote APIs. It is compatible with most operating systems, including Windows, Mac, Linux, with GPU acceleration through Llama.cpp. It stores data in open file formats, plus you can also have your own local API server mode. It is customizable via extensions and just expect a lot of extensions coming out of um, this Jan tool very, very soon. The roadmap is quite active and it's a bootstrapped um, sort of bunch of people who are just doing it on the side during weekends and um, evenings. So just expect some bugs initially, but still this stable version is quite good. Now this project is still evolving. So if you face any issues and any errors, just make sure to join their discord and discuss it there. So let's get started and let's try to install it. If you go to their GitHub page, you will see that there is stable version and then there is experimental version. So let's go with the stable version on Windows. You can do the same for Linux. It is open to one and you can go with the app image too. So let me click on gen.exe. It is going to download it locally. Let's wait for it to download. It downloaded an exe file and as soon as I clicked on exe file, it has opened this gen window here. The interface is quite nifty and quite simple as you can see. Let's explore the hub from where you can download your first model. So click on explore the hub and it is going to open this window here where you can search models and then you can talk with models too. And you can also see that there are a few um, thread buttons or wherever you can chat with it. But let's go with a search model. If you don't uh, want to search it, you can also scroll down to see that there are already a lot of models which are available in the um, bottom section, which you can just simply click and load them. Also, if you go up, you can see that you, these are all models or you can go with the recommended one or the ones which you have downloaded. Let me go with um, one of the Mistral one, which is just 4.37 GB. Let me click on it. So as soon as I have clicked on it, it has started downloading and it is showing me the progress here. And then also some of the information about this model. And it is telling us that it is a four bit quantized iteration of Mistral AI's Mistral Instruct, specifically designed for a comprehensive understanding through training and all, all that stuff. Model ID is there and who exactly created this quantized version, which in this case is Bloke. Let's wait for it to download. So model is done, as you can see on your screen. Now simply click on use here. And then you can see on the right hand side that the model is loaded and you can specify your max tokens here. You can also um, give it the system prompt and you can start new thread and you can name it. And at the middle section, you can simply select your uh, prompt. So maybe I'll just ask it which came first I got chicken let's see what happens and you can see it says starting model mistral instruct and that message has been queued it is starting the model so let's wait for model to get started 
there you go model has started and assistant it is there so okay first okay so model has started and it has started producing um, the responses so i'm not going to play around with the model in this video because it, for the purpose of this video is to introduce you to this jan tool which is a drop in replacement for lm studio as you can see the interface is quite nice quite easy to use on the left hand side they also have the system monitor where you can see your cpu and ram usage but if you also look at the bottom right they give you cpu and memory usage so you can see my cpu is around 70 percent whereas memory is 14 percent and we are using jan's version 0.4.3 if i click on settings let's see what happens there so when we go into the settings, you can select the dark mode, which is always looks good on the and easy on the eyes. And then there are a few extensions which you can select or it, as you can see here. Then there are a lot of um, extensions which are already built in. And as, as I mentioned earlier, there will be a lot more coming up. And I'll be playing around with these extensions separately in another video. So uh, let's leave it for now. You can see that there is, for example, this inference open extension which we can use to um, work with OpenAI's chat completion API. And then we have some advanced stuff which you can check uh, to set the directories and all that stuff. And this is our models ones. As you can see, we already have downloaded Mistral Instruct. And if you want to talk to OpenAI's model, then I believe you would need to set your OpenAI's API key and then go from there. So for example, this one. Okay, and then we already have seen the hub. And as I mentioned earlier, they also have a local API server. So for that to run locally, you would have to click on the settings, this cog icon on that bottom left. Once you click there, go to advanced and there. Normally it should appear here like enable API server, but I don't see here. Maybe I'll just try from the experimental mode. I have enabled it and then also um, let me try it out if that works on my local um, machine or not. So I have enabled it. Let me go to my browser and so you can see uh, I am trying to run it localhost 1337 but it's not running. So it seems that it, they are still working on it. Anyway, let's wait for it to um, get sorted and then we will uh, download this version again. And Another thing is that, for example, if you click on the system monitor, this gives you a nice simple overview of RAM CPU consumption, which I, as I mentioned earlier, you can also check out in the bottom section of um, this tool. So this is it, guys. I think um, pretty nifty tool, but still a lot of work needs to be done still in its infancy. As far as features are concerned, LM Studio is still a bit more uh, at par, I would say. It is more advanced, but I'm more than sure this will catch up fairly soon. That's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you are already using it, if I have missed anything, please let me know. Happy to share in the comments or in the next video. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.